To begin the process of making checklists, we'll first create corrective actions and their corresponding lists. A corrective action list will appear when a product is either not available or when a violation occurs. The appropriate corrective action is then chosen and is logged on the results report. To make corrective actions, hover over the Digital Logbook tab and select Corrective Actions. Click on Add Corrective Action. Enter the name of your corrective action. Some examples might be Discard Product or Notify Manager. From here, you can either type in the name of the list in which you would like to include this corrective action, or you can leave this blank and assign a list later. Click Save if you're done, or click Save and Create Another to continue making corrective actions. Once all corrective actions are created, you can assign them to lists if this has not already been completed in the previous step. Click on the Lists tab and click Add List. Choose a name for your list. You'll most likely need at least two, one for violations and one for unavailable products. Check off each corrective action you would like to include in the list. Then click Save. Once the corrective actions are done, hover over Digital Logbook and select Task Lists. To create a task list, click Add Task List. Name the list and click Save. If you don't need to separate your tasks into multiple lists, you can just make one list for all of your tasks. Click on the task list you just made. Before making the tasks, you'll need to create data ranges. Click on the data ranges tab. Data ranges are required for tasks that use temperature thresholds. Click on add data range. Fill in the required information and click save or save and create another. Once your data ranges are complete, you can begin to create your tasks. Return to Tasks and click Add Task. After entering a title, click the drop-down to select a task type. In this video, I'll go over Smart Probe and Yes No Question tasks. For a Smart Probe task, enter instructions if desired. Then, choose your data range. You may choose a different corrective action list for responses above and below the data range. If you'd rather use the same list for both situations, check the box to use the same for both data ranges. Then choose a corrective action list for not available actions. The list will appear if the NA option is selected for this item in the SmartSense app. For a yes no question task, Enter the question you would like to ask. Then choose a corrective action list that will appear when either yes or no is selected. For example, if yes is the answer you're looking for, you're choosing what the options for corrective actions will be when no is selected. Then choose the not available corrective action list. Click Save if you're done, or Save and Create Another to continue creating tasks. Once all tasks have been created, hover over Digital Logbook and select Checklists. Checklists can be categorized into groups. To create a checklist group, click Add Checklist Group. Name the group and click Save. If you don't need to separate your checklists into multiple groups, you can just make one group for all of your checklists. Click on the checklist group you just made. Click Add Checklist. In this video, I'll go over the Food Safety Checklist category. Give your checklist a name, then choose whether this will be an ad hoc checklist or a scheduled checklist. If ad hoc is chosen, this checklist can be completed on demand using quick actions in the SmartSense app. If scheduled is chosen, this checklist will only be available during a specified time frame. If scheduled, choose whether you would like this checklist to be completed daily or weekly. Input the first day you would like to start logging this checklist. Then choose the start time. Select how long this checklist will be available in the app to be completed. 
If you would like to allow for this checklist to be completed after the specified time frame, check the Allow Overdue box and pick how long you would like it to be available. Choose whether you would like this checklist to be fixed, randomized, or dynamic. Fixed checklists require all items on the list to be completed. Randomized checklists will give a specified number of random items from the list to be completed. And dynamic checklists require a specified number of items to be completed. The items that are completed are at the discretion of the user. Next, click Add Tasks. Check the box for each task you would like to be added to this checklist. You can use the search bar at the top to make this process faster. Once you've chosen your tasks, click Select. Click Save if you're done, or click Save and Create Another to keep these selections and create another checklist. Once all checklists are created, you will need to associate them with the appropriate locations or departments. Click the Associations tab. Click Add Checklist Group Associations and check the locations or departments that should have access to this group of checklists. If you have multiple checklist groups, you'll need to complete this step for each one. Once the checklist groups have been associated to their locations or departments, they can now be completed on the SmartSense app.